Picture this. The year is 1846 and the United States is on the brink of war with its southern neighbor, Mexico. Our tale begins with the U.S.'s annexation of Texas in 1845, a move that was met with resentment and resistance from Mexico which still considered Texas part of its territory. This disagreement over borders, specifically the area between the Rio Grande and Nueces River, was the spark that ignited the powder keg of tensions between the two nations. As the dispute simmered, a skirmish known as the Thornton Affair further stoked the flames when an American patrol was ambushed by Mexican forces, leading to the deaths of 16 American soldiers. This incident, seen as an act of aggression by the U.S., led Congress to declare war on Mexico on May 13, 1846. So, with the stage set, the Mexican-American War began, a conflict that would forever change the face of North America. The war was fierce, fraught with battles and skirmishes that tested the mettle of both nations. It all kicked off with the Battle of Palo Alto, where the United States showcased their artillery prowess, turning the tide in their favor. This was quickly followed by the Battle of Monterey, a brutal affair that saw both sides suffer heavy losses. The war raged on, reaching a critical point at the Battle of Buena Vista. Here, a smaller American force managed to hold off a much larger Mexican army, demonstrating the power of strategic positioning and tenacity. The final nail in the coffin was the capture of Mexico City, a decisive victory that marked the end of the war. Now imagine this war as a massive gang fight, each battle a brutal brawl for territory, power and respect. Alliances formed and dissolved just as they do in the streets, and in the end the landscape was forever changed. Just like in the gang fight, territories were claimed, alliances were made and broken, and the landscape was forever changed. Now you may be wondering, how does a war between nations compare to a gang fight? At first glance, these two phenomena might seem worlds apart, but let's delve a bit deeper. Both the Mexican-American War and a gang fight, for instance, can be sparked by territorial disputes. The desire to control a piece of land, whether it's a vast territory or a city block, can lead to violent confrontations. In both cases, force is often used to settle conflicts. Each side employs what resources they have, whether it's a well-trained army or a group of street-smart fighters, to try and gain the upper hand. And in the aftermath, a new order is often established as the victors lay claim to their spoils. But there are stark differences too, such as the scale of the conflict, the tactics used, and the far-reaching consequences that a war can have on nations and their people. While vastly different in scale and context, the Mexican-American War and the gang fight share surprising similarities, a testament to the recurring patterns of human conflict. 